last day from since last day he was missing from the house and today by the afternoon he was found out but he with blood he was found out it is in quite mysterious circumstances by which he is seen so and also he was announcing we can very well see from the media reports itself it is very clear that i am innocent i have done anything wrong this is the way he is uh, talking to the people who are trying to escape him from this bloodshed and uh, really the situation this gold scam is going in a very big dimension and having the ramifications which is uh, far far uh, uh, what what we can say that we cannot even think of what is it behind because such a big mafia is controlling the entire scenario definitely these type of incidents might have taken place before also and even if you can examine on uh, honorable member of legislative assembly and the prominent congress leader in kerala mr vd sadishan he is from parur armagulam district if you can ask to him also he will also say he has he has made a speech in uh, our legislative assembly that gold smuggling is going on it's a big racket and he has also been i have it is being reported he openly spoke to the media that he has been threatened by the officials that your life will be in danger if you go like this this is the way these gold camp people or this smugglers are doing so it's very very mysterious and very very apprehensive situation prevailing in the state of kerala regarding the gold scam and the state government is doing nothing that is a, that is a very very a strange fact to be noted is the concerned state government is doing nothing they are saying that this is entire responsibility is upon the government of india and the customs and the airport everything is under the government of india union so we have to do, nothing to be done by the state government this was the stand taken by the state government they are they are looking after the law and order situation that is a quite unfortunate situation and even the prime minister's uh, prime minister's principal private secretary has been suspended he is involved and he is controlling the entire affairs of the chief minister's office and uh, but still the chief minister is there that is why the opposition is demanding that the chief minister should first resign and face an investigation this is a demand which is being brought out so the demand made by the opposition is being ratified by the consequent consequential incidents even the last uh, attempt uh, suicide attempt of the gunman of the consul general very very big sir the story is getting very big and is getting very murky uh, uh, and, and i appreciate you for joining us on the phone line mr premchandran look forward to speaking to you in the course of uh, the day today uh, what you say is very important mr premchandran thank you for speaking to us we'll get you on the channel live also in some time that was uh, rsp mp mr premchandran uh, who knows his facts about the case speaking to republic tv let me go across also okay before that before that let me quickly take a short break i'll take a quick break i think we have i have mr uh uh, uh i think uh, i think uh, we'll we'll take a short break at this point and we'll come back we'll come back and get you more details